Hey y'all, I want to take a minute and discuss best practices to back up and reset a civil 3D profile. So one thing where I come from, I see a lot of issues, a lot of user specific issues. So with profiles, so I can't draw a polyline, but my coworker can. Um, in this specific file, it's only a me issue. It's not tied to anybody else. And it's usually, you know, it's, I think it's something to do with my installation. So that's when you go down the route of what let's bring things back to the out-of-the-box state let's bring this profile back so when it comes back to the out-of-the-box state there's a lot of customizations you lose so basically everything comes you know as it is out of the box from Autodesk so and that can be devastating too especially if it doesn't fix what you intended to fix in terms of can I draw that polyline in this file now and if it doesn't then you want your profile back so one what's the best way to reset a profile and what's the best way to back it up and how do I bring those customizations back if it doesn't fix it. So three things we're going to focus on today. Backing it up, resetting, and restoring from a backup. So let's jump out of PowerPoint here and go into, uh, we won't be in civil much just because we're going to be outside of it, but what's the concepts for this? So there's two ways to restore a profile. So first one is you can do reset settings to default. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't think it really works too well. Sometimes it doesn't work and it's not as manually iterative to uh, back things up if you do this process. So I recommend not using this, but you can if you want to. So the manual backup process. So three things we're going to do. So one, we're going to go into the registry. We're going to delete a key and then we're going to back up two support folders. So Windows key, type REG edit or just you can see registry editor it's gonna ask me yes I want to make changes and now we're within the registry so on this web page link this is where it directs us to delete things out of the registry I encourage you to read this slowly when you do it manually yourself so you can see for each year it's a little different so H key and it's all the same patch just the thing at the end changes slightly so H key current user, H key current user, software, Autodesk, AutoCAD, even if you're in Civil 3D, AutoCAD, 24.2, 24.2, A 6100.409. So you can see here I have a 24.1 and a 24.2. So that's 2022 and 2023. So we are going to go to this key right here and we are going to export it. We're going to call this 2023 backup. And we're just going to throw it on our desktop. The name doesn't matter. It could be whatever you want. 2023 backup. Save it. And now we're going to delete it. So we've sent it to our desktop. Now we're going to delete it. Yes. We're going to delete everything. So you can see that carrot is now empty. So now let's go into the to the local and roaming folders. So, and still from this article right here, how to reset civil 3D to default. So search here, percent app, APP, data, D-A-T-A, percent. This is a shorthand version to uh, find folders. If it wants to take me there. There we go. All right. Oh, doesn't look like it wants to do it. All right, and fill brick. And now we're going to go to app data. So now we're in our app data. So see users, username, app data. Okay, so local. And then we go into Autodesk. And then you can see there's these support folders here. So Civil 3D 2023. There's two things you can do here. You can rename it, and it'll trigger because uh, Civil 3D won't recognize it when you start it. Or you could copy it out and put it somewhere else. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to rename it old. So it triggers a rebuild. We click out. We let that recognize that the name was changed here. Oh, here we go. Come on. Here we go. Oh, looks like it's having fun with me today. All right, now we have Civil 3D 2023 old. Now we're going to do the same thing in the roaming folder. Roaming, Autodesk, Autodesk 2023. We're going to rename you old. 
Okay. So now we have them both renamed. Let's go ahead and restart Civil 3D and see, just show how it starts. So, we go here, Civil 3D. Always restart it from the default icon. Don't go from a company shortcut if you have any of those. Um, that's gonna potentially try and find your old profile and things like that. So always start from the default from Autodesk. So this is, it's gonna take a little longer to rebuild or start and then rebuild. So what it's doing is it's rebuilding the registry key that we deleted and it's rebuilding those two support folders we deleted too, those two 2023s. So here we go, waiting for it to launch here. Let Nick cook here for a minute. And then what we're gonna see is we're gonna see that registry key was rebuilt and those two support folders were. And what we'll do afterwards is we'll verify Civil 3D launches with that complete out of the box feel. And then we'll go in and bring that customization back. Always takes a little longer to launch that first time, just always just let it, let it do its thing for this, this relaunching process. And then once it fully cooks and you're back in, then you can, then you, then you can verify everything's working and then, and then bring things back. So we're in civil 3D is now launching now. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Okay, here we go. Now we're in Civil 3D. Let's give it a second to be fully functional here. And there we go. Okay, so now we have reset that, reset the profile. Now let's say, let's say we crack open our file. We can do whatever we want to do. If that was a specific issue, I want everything back. So go ahead and get out of Civil 3D. Close out of here. And let's go into the registry. We'll do the registry first. We'll do the support folders afterwards. So registry editor. Same thing. Now we are going to go into this folder. So you see it rebuilt it. Uh, so everything's, every, that, that whatever was there has now been rebuilt. And then what we're going to do is we are going to delete this. And then we are going to say, um, oh, file. And we're going to go to import right here and desktop and 2023 backup. So what we're doing is the keys and values contained in C users and Filbert desktop 2023 backup have been successfully added to the registry. So we say okay. And now you can see our first registry key that we originally deleted has now been brought back in. So let's go ahead and close this out. And now we're gonna do the same thing in those app data folders. So C and we go to users and we go to end Filbert. Autodesk or app data and then local and Autodesk and then you can see our old and our new one that was rebuilt here. So we can do is delete that one you just rebuilt. Rename this one back. Hopefully it doesn't take too long on me here. And come on. Here we go. Windows updates, they'll kill you. All right, here we go. Let it cook. Let it cook. All right, we got that one. Now we're gonna do the roaming folder. Autodesk right here. Delete you. Okay. And now we're going to rename you. Let me see if I can do it this way. All right. So there we go. Now we got both those done. Same thing. Civil 3D 2023. From the from the, the default icon, no company profile shortcuts or anything like that. Now we're going to relaunch with the previous with the previous uh, profile. 
So Civil 3D is launching. You'll notice we didn't get that little small window there because it's not rebuilding anything like it did that first time. So launching here, it always takes a first time. It always takes a little longer whenever there's something tweaked on the back end. So if you do it and you're like, why is Civil 3D taking five, 10 minutes to launch? Sometimes it does after you reset a profile or bring an old one back or anything like that. So here we are. Now we are back with the previous profile that I had built into Civil 3D.